sports fans and baseball fans, I'm here again with another Mismatch Monday. And today we're going to go back to the 80s. You guys are probably tired of seeing the 70s. So we're going to go back to the 80s for this one, and specifically 1982, where we will pit the uh, American League champion... Milwaukee Brewers, who were 95 and 67 against the last place team in the American League. You don't get any more mismatched than that. The Minnesota Twins of 1982, who were 60 and 102. The visiting team will be the Brewers. Now, I have them on different sides than I usually do, and that's because, as you can see, I've got a scoreboard this time. And the scoreboard lists the home team first and the away team second. And I didn't put Twins and Milwaukee above them. So we're just going to go with home and away. And the home team is listed first. And so as you can see, I've got the home team's um, uh, flow, storage envelope first. And the Brewers' storage envelope second. But the Brewers are not at home. They are visiting. So we will go down the uh, lineup for the visiting Brewers. They will start off with Mr. Robin Yount at shortstop, followed by Paul Molitor at DH. Cecil Koopa will be the first baseman. Storm and Gorman Thomas will be in center. Ben Ogilvie will be the left fielder. Don the Money Man Money will be at third base. Ted Simmons, Hall of Famer Ted Simmons, newly, pretty new uh, Hall of Famer, will be the catcher. Charlie Moore will be in right field, and Jimmy Gantner is the second baseman. Now, pitching today against the Brewers will be, and I got to, you know what, I got to put the lineups on the correct side, too, now. Uh, the pitcher for the Brewer or for the uh, Twins against the Brewers will be Frank Viola. In 1982, Frank Viola was four and ten with a 5.21 earned run average and 126 innings. He allowed 152 hits, so he is going to be the pitcher. And um, all right, so let's get this show on the road. We got Robin Yount leading off. And he gets a 4-5. He is a righty on a lefty. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop for the Twins is Fiedo. He is a 3-E24. And that's going to be a 3. That's, prob that's probably something bad. Single. So Robin Yount leads off with a hit. And that brings up Paul Molitor, and he gets the 312, which is on a, against a lefty, is going to be a ballpark home run, and the home run is for a, for both, it's a 1-14, to 14, and that's gone, Molitor. Gives the team a 2-0 lead after two batters. And that brings up Cecil Poopa. And he gets a 6-8. He is a lefty on a lefty. And uh, that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is Castino. He is a 3. Oh, let's see. Yes, he is a 3. And that is a... Um, that is a 9. So second base, three and nine. His error rating, and his error rating at second base is a four, which is really good. So we're going to roll the two dice and see what happens with the error. That's a four. And um, that's going to be... That's going to be a ground ball. A, but it's just a ground ball, and he's out four to three. And Gorman Thomas is up. That's a 
that's the first out right there. And it is a 4-9 for a righty on a lefty. And that is going to be a home run. Gorman, Storman, Thomas. And they have really, the Brewers have opened it up here. And it is 3-0. And up steps Ben Ogilvy. And this is about what you might have expected. 2 to 211 is a an infield or is a, uh, a ballpark single. He is a left handed batter, and uh, that is going to be a single. So Viola is just really in all kinds of trouble here. He can't even get really out of this inning. He's having trouble getting out of this inning. There's only one out and Don Money up. And Don Money gets a 3-8. And uh, he's going up against a lefty. And that is going to be a single. So that moves Ogilvy to second. And he gets on first base with a single. And there is going to be action in the... Uh, Minnesota bullpen. They need a long reliever. They're going to get Terry Felton up in the bullpen. And Ted Simmons is the batter. Ted Simmons gets a 5-7. He is a switch hitter, so he would be batting right. And that is going to be a strikeout. Yeah. So there's two down and two on. And Charlie Moore, the batter. And he gets a 6-7. He's batting. He's a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a single double asterisk, which is going to score another run. Yet another run. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? We're some real pretty shit now, man. And that will be it for Frank Viola. They will bring in Terry Felton. Terry Felton is coming in to pitch. And uh, runners are at the corners with two down. And Jim Gantner is the batter. And he gets a 4-5. He is a lefty and Felton is a righty. So that is going to be a... 4-5 uh, is going to be a strikeout. So Jim Gantner strikes out and finally they get out of the inning. But... Four Milwaukee run score, and it's 4 nothing, And they're going to be back at the top of the lineup when they come back up. So we'll have to make that adjustment. The away team has four runs. And uh, this scoreboard only goes up to nine, so I don't know what I'm going to do after that. But John Castino is now the batter. And he will be going up against Mike Caldwell, who really has, looks like he might have smooth sailing now. Castino gets a 6-4. He's a right-handed batter on a left-handed pitcher. Um, and that is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher for the uh, Brewers is Simmons, and he is a 3. That is a 12. So we'll see what that is. Simmons is air rating and he is an E1. So we'll roll the dice. And that is a six. And uh, a ground ball C. So that's ground out for Castino, one to or two to three. And Herbeck is the batter. Kent Herbeck, the first baseman. And he gets a 3-6. And a 3-6. He is a lefty going up against a lefty. And uh, that is going to be a strikeout. And Bernanski is the batter. Obviously Caldwell having a much easier time of it here than uh, his counterpart did. 3-8. And he is a righty going up against a lefty. And that's going to be a walk. So Bruno works a walk, which is a small victory for them. They've got a man on base with Ward up, Gary Ward. And he gets a 2-4. And against a left-handed pitcher, that is going to be a ground ball, second base C. So Ward grounds out to the second baseman. 
uh, Gantner, and there are no runs coming across for the Twins. We go to the second inning. And it's 4 nothing visiting team, and the visiting team, as we have explained, is the Milwaukee Brewers. We're going to the top of the second, and um, that's going to be the top of the batting order. Who is now facing Terry Felton, who came in last inning because Viola couldn't even get out of the first inning. That is a 5-10. He is a righty batting against a righty, and that is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher for the uh, Twins is our good friend Tim Laudner, who is a catcher four. That is a 15 and 15-4 is going to be a foul out. So Yount fouls out to two. And there is one away. And that brings to the plate Paul Molitor. And he gets a 5-3. He is a righty batting against a, a righty. So... 5-3 uh, is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder for the Twins is Ward, and he is a 2 beyond Ward's um, air rating, and he is uh, an air 4. So we'll roll the dice, and that is an 8. E4 and an 8 is going to be a fly ball B. Fly out seven, and that brings up Cecil Cooper, two down pretty quickly here. And um, and Cooper the batter. And he gets a 1-8 against a righty, and that is going to be a single. So Cooper, who didn't get a hit the first time in that big inning that the uh, Brewers had, gets a, gets a hit here in the second. And Gorman Thomas is the batter. He homered last time, and he gets a uh, 2 11 this time, and that is going to be a pop-out to shortstop. Pop-out to six. The Brewers don't get any runs in the second. And so Terry Felton does hold them down. And the Twins lineup comes up. They're still down by four, though. they got to make up four runs right here. Well, not right here, but they've got to make up four runs before the end of the game. Tim Laudner is up. He gets a 1-7. He is a righty batting against a lefty. And that is going to be a... Um, that's going to be a single. So Tim Laudner does get a hit. Tim Laudner's aboard. Mickey Hatcher is up. Mickey Hatcher gets a 211 against a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. Mickey Hatcher with the K, and that brings up Bobby Mitchell. Bobby Mitchell with one down, one on. He gets a 312. That is going to be a fly ball to the right fielder. So he flies out to nine. And that brings up Gary Gaetti, the third baseman. And he gets a 6-8. And 6-8 righty on against a uh, lefty is uh, going to be... That's a triple. Gary Gaetti triples in a run. Unreal. So uh, Tim Laudner comes across to score and gives the Twins a run. And we will fix that immediately. And uh, there's a man 90 feet away with Lenny Fiedo up. And he gets a 5-7. He is a righty. And that is going to be... That is going to be a double. And Fiedo doubles in a run. Unbelievable. So this Twins, this twins team doesn't look like they want to go down without a fight. And they're back to the top of the order, and John Castino, and he gets a 4-9. He is a righty, and that is going to be a single to center field, and they can send Fiedo. Fiedo's running is a 
1 to 13 and the center fielder's arm is um who is that? That's Thomas. Thomas has a really good arm though. That's I know that about Thomas. He was a really good outfielder. He has a, actually a negative 2. So it would be 1 to 11, but this Twins team they don't have the luxury of waiting it out and it he does score so that single scores a third run for the twins and now it is four to three and they 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 did a little heads up play there but they knew that the runs were going to be hard to come by on Caldwell or maybe not and Ken Herbeck is now the batter and he gets a 410 he is a lefty and uh, let's see that's going to be a strikeout so Herbeck strikes out but the twins come back and they score three runs right here and now you know Terry Felton is still out there because he held the Brewers to nothing um, and let's let's update their runs. So it is four to three, and we're going to the top of the third. And uh, Ben Ogilvy is the batter here in the third. He gets a six six. He is a lefty on a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. Ogilvy flies out to center. Don Money is the batter. One away, and that is a 4-2. 4-2 is going to be, he's a righty, and that is going to be a walk. So Felton walks, and he did have a walk problem that year. So Don Money walks, and he's aboard with one down and Ted Simmons up. Ted Simmons gets a 2-7. He's a switch hitter, so, he, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. 2-7 against a righty, and uh, that is going to be a single, but it's a uh, it's a split single, so the runner can only advance one base. Money goes down to second. Simmons with the hit. There's one out and two runners on with Charlie Moore up, and he gets a 3-10, and against a right-handed batter, that's going to be a ballpark single. He is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a single, and they're going to, I think they're going to hold up the runner. Yeah, they'll hold up the runner. And that brings to the plate Jim Gantner. Jim Gantner, the second baseman with the bases full and uh, only one out. And that's a 5-7. He is a lefty. And that's going to be a uh, a walk. Yes, it will be a walk and force in a run. So Felton, they, they they have to go to the bullpen again, or they have to look at going to the bullpen again. So they're going to get some action up in the bullpen one more time, at least one more time, and it's going to be Paul Boris. Paul Boris is warming up down in the bullpen Felton is starting to fall apart here already after, in just his second inning of work. And Robin Yao is the batter. Now, let's see here. Yes, a run did come in. Um, yeah, that forced in a run. Gantner's walk did. So, um, Robin Yao is up. And that is a 4-5. He is a righty on a righty. And that is going to be a strikeout. But that's only two down. Two out this inning, and the base is still loaded, and Paul Molitor, the batter, and he gets a 1-7 against a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field. So Molitor flies out eight, but the Brewers get another run, and they have now a 5-3 lead, and now that the Twins... Sending the runner back in the second inning is looking bigger and bigger as the uh, Twins now have, or the uh, Brewers now have five runs.
Yes, they now have five runs and they lead 5-3 with the Twins coming up in the bottom of the third and Bruno batting against Caldwell. He gets a 2-8. He's a righty and uh, that is going to be against a left-handed pitcher. That is going to be an out. It's a ground ball first base. So Brenanski grounds out to three for the first out of the Twins third. And Gary Ward is the batter. He gets a 5-10. He is a right-handed batter. And uh, that is going to be a walk. So Gary Ward gets a board with a walk. One out, one on. Laudner, who got a hit last time. And that is a 1-4. He is going up against a left, a lefty, yes. And that's going to be a ground ball, shortstop, double play, and ends the inning. And they come away with nothing. The Twins get nothing there. We go to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth, 5-3. to three. The Brewers coming up. This is a better game than you would expect between these two teams. And uh, Cecil Cooper is the batter here in the fourth inning. He gets a 3-12, and that is going to be against a... Um, well, yeah, Felton is still out there for the moment. Um, and against a right-hander, that is going to be a fly ball center field plus injury. It's a 5 but that does put Cooper out for one game. We'll let you know who that is when we come back. Um, but um, right now, Gorman Thomas is the batter. There is one down. Thomas with a 5'11", and 5'11". He is a righty. That is going to be a ballpark single. And for a righty, that is going to be an out. So he lines out to the first baseman. Yes. And uh, and Ogilvy is now the batter. And they are going to bring in Paul Boris right now because he was warming up. Felton hasn't been particularly good. And Boris is on. He is a righty as well. And that is a 5-9. And 5-9 um, against a righty is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a strikeout. So Boris comes on and he strikes out Ogilvy. The Brewers get no runs, but they do lose... Uh, Cecil Cooper and his replacement is going to be Roy Howell. So Roy Howell now playing first base for the Brewers as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning with Mickey Hatcher, the batter. He gets a 1-3 against a lefty and that is going to be a pop out to shortstop. Pop out six and Mitchell is the batter. Bobby Mitchell, he gets a 2-5, and that is going to be a walk. So Mitchell gets aboard with a walk. He flew out to center to right field the last time, but now he is aboard with Gaetti. And Gaetti got a big hit for the team last time with a triple. Let's see what he does now. He gets a 3-11 against the lefty. That's going to be a strikeout. And with two down really quickly, Lenny Fiedo is up. And Fiedo had a big hit last time, but against the lefty, he's going to strike out this time. So they get no runs, and we go to the fifth inning. Top of the fifth. The Brewers are coming up. They have a, as you can see by my scoreboard over here, they have a 5-3 to three lead. Keep your eyes on that scoreboard. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know if you can see it that well. But anyway, we're going to hope you can. Um, Don Money is the batter here in the top of the fifth. 
the Brewers with a 5 to 3 lead and uh, 210 for Don Money against Boris that's a righty on a righty and that is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman the third baseman is Gaetti he is a 3 that is a 17 so let's see what that is man that's going to be a ground ball so Don Money grounds out to third. And Ted Simmons is the batter. He gets a 6-5. He is batting left. So uh, against a left-handed batter, 6-5. That is going to be a home run. Oh, yeah. I'm having a blast. Thanks. Good. God, sucker teed off in that like he knew I was going to throw a fastball. He did know. Wow. I told him. Ah. So a home run for Ted Simmons. The Brewers get another run on the board. And it is now 6-3. to three. And Charlie Moore, this is why they called them the Harvey Wallbangers. Charlie Moore is up and he gets a 2-4. And that is going to be a, a ground ball to shortstop. So he goes out six to three. That's two down. But the Brewers have a run here off of Boris on a home run by Ted Simmons. And Jim Gantner is up. He gets a four eight. He is a lefty. And that is going to be a strikeout. So another run comes in for, or let's see now, in the top of the fifth. Another run comes in for the Brewers. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And the Brewers with a 6-3 to three lead right now on the Twins, who have John Castino coming up for the Twins, the top of the batting order. That is a 6-6. Six, six. He is a righty. And that is going to be a fly, uh, ground ball shortstop. So he grounds out to short. And... Yeah. 6-3, Kent Herbeck up. Herbeck gets a 4-7. He is a lefty on a lefty. And that is going to be an out. That is going to be a line out to second base. Line out four. And Tom Brunanski is up. And he gets a 4-10. Or a 5-10. 5-10. Um, a righty on a lefty is going to be a walk. So Brenansky walks. He is with two down. He is a base runner at first base with Gary Ward up. Gary Ward, very good hitter. 110 against a lefty. That is going to be a, a ground ball first base. And they are out of the inning. So he grounds out to first. No runs come in for the Twins in the fifth. We go to the top. Of the sixth inning. And let me change the scoreboard. I'm ruining my cards here by trying to scrape them and scratch them up. But anyway, it is 6 3, top of the sixth with Robin Yount, the batter. They're going to keep, um, for right now, they're going to keep Paul Boris out there. Why not? Um, 3 5 for Robin Yount. He is a righty, um, not, or he's going up against a right handed pitcher, and that is going to be a single. So, a uh, single for Robin Yount, top of the sixth, giving way to Paul Molitor with no outs. And he gets a 2-10, and he's going up against a uh, righty, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. And now they have runners at the corners. It was probably a bad idea to send Boris back out there. The Twins will get some action up again in their bullpen. Daryl Jackson up. Daryl Jackson up in the bullpen with uh, Roy Howell. And Roy Howell's getting his first action. He came on to replace the injured Cecil Cooper. There are runners at the corners with no outs. And that is a 4-8. Um, and he is a lefty 
4-8 is going to be a strikeout. So Boris does strike out Cooper's replacement, Howell. And there's one down. Nobody moves anywhere. Gorman, Storm, and Thomas comes up. Gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a righty. That is going to be a double. Double to left field. And uh, it only scores one run initially. And we're just going to say that that's all they're going to do. They're not going to get too greedy here. Even though they really are playing with house money. And now they will bring in Daryl Jackson. And Daryl Jackson is a left-handed pitcher. And they're going through the Twins' bullpen like, they're, uh, like it's nobody's business. Ben Ogilvy is the batter with a runner 90 feet away and another runner 180 feet away. And there is a 5-6. He is a lefty. Um... So that is going to be a fly ball left or right field B, and that'll score the runner on third. There's two down, but another run comes in. And Don Money is the batter. And he gets a 1 8. He is going up against a lefty, and that is going to be a ground ball third base. He goes out 5-3, to three, but not before the Brewers get two more runs and make the score 8-3. to three. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. And, you know, I only have nine on this scoreboard, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. But they do get, the Brewers do get two more in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and... The batter is Tim Laudner, I believe. Yes, it is. And he gets a 6-8. Six, 6-8. Eight. Six, eight. He's a righty. Um, and that is going to be a... That's going to be a single double asterisk. So, Laudner with a hit. Lead-off hit. That's what they need. They're down 6... They're 8 to... They're down 8 to 3. So, um... Not not a good situation at all. Uh, Mickey Hatcher is up. He gets a 3-8. Three 3-8 eight. Three eight going up against the lefty. And that is going to be a pop out to short. Bringing up Bobby Mitchell. The outfielder. One down. He gets a 4-10. He is a lefty. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Caldwell allowed the leadoff batter this inning on for the Twins, but he's been good since then. Gaetti is now the batter. He gets a 6-10. He's a right-handed batter. That is going to be a fly ball center field X. The center fielder for the uh, Brewers is Thomas. He is a 1. That is an 18. I don't expect that to be anything bad for them, and it isn't. It's a fly out. So... Gaetti flies out to Gorman Thomas in center, and they get no runs in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. And in the top of the seventh, they're going to have Ted Simmons coming up for the Brewers. And we got to change the scoreboard. Top of the seventh. Simmons up. He gets a 2-7. He is going up against a lefty. And that is going to be a single. So Ted Simmons, Ted Simmons is having himself a day here. He's got a single, well, two singles now, and a home run. Um, being three for four on the day. And Charlie Moore is the batter. He gets a 2-5, and he's going up against a lefty. And that is a single to center field. And Jim Gantner is the batter. He gets a 1-5 going up against a lefty. That is a single double asterisk and scores a run. Again, they're not going to press the issue. They really don't need to. <laughs> um, 
Another run comes in and Robin out back to the top of the lineup. Gets a 6-9. He is a righty. That is going to be a, well, what do you know? It's a home run. Robin Yount, and uh, man, the Brewers are just throwing it on thick here. Yeah. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boomstick. And now my scoreboard can't possibly be right because. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what to do. I'm just going to leave it on nine, but they got more than that. <laughs> they have actually, um, what, four more, so. Twelve. They got twelve now. Twelve runs. They have been the Harvey Wallbangers of old, this, this game. 4-5 for Paul Molitor. Um, and that is going, he is a right-handed batter. And that is going to be a fly ball to center field for the first out. And the Twins are going to get somebody else up in the bullpen. And that somebody else is going to be... And again, I'm trying not to use guys who would typically start for the team. John Pacella is going to warm up in the bullpen. He was terrible that year, but at this point, Roy Howell is up. One out. And he gets a 111 against a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. And that brings uh, Gorman Storman Thomas up to the plate. He has a double and a homer today. Two for three coming in here, I think. 210. And that is going to be a walk. So Thomas draws a walk. The Twins really just want this game to mercifully be over. And Ben Ogilvy is up. He gets a 4-4 batting left. And that is going to be a catcher card X. The catcher for the, um, for the Twins is Laudner. He is a 4. That is a 3. So let's see what that is. 3 and 4 is a foul out. So that is the final out. Foul out to the catcher. But uh, the Brewers get four more runs, and they have not a 9-3 lead, but actually a 12-3 lead. Yeah, 12-3 lead. I just can't record that on the scoreboard because my scoreboard only goes up to 9 for them. So Lenny Fiedo is up. So if you're, you know, if you haven't been paying attention and you're looking up and you see it's 9-3, you still get the gist. Um, Fiedo is the batter against Caldwell, who you got to believe now is going to go the distance. Caldwell in 1982 pitched 258 innings. So yes, he can go the distance, I would say. And that is a 3-6 against a left-handed uh, batter. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop for Fiedo. 6-3. And uh, in here to lead off the bottom of the seventh for the Twins, Castino gets a 3-3 against a lefty. That's going to be a ground ball C plus injury. Or wait a minute. No, no. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a ground ball first base C plus injury. That's a 17. So Castino is gone for a long time. The Twins are really going through their bench. They're going through their bullpen and they have an injury now. And uh, we'll let you know about the injury replacement uh, when they get back out there. But, are, I mean, are they back out there? No, they're not. They're not. 
And Herbeck is the third batter of the inning. And he gets a 3-6, and um, that is going to be a strikeout. So the replacement for Castino is going to be Ron Washington. Ron Washington now playing second base for them. They get no runs there. We go to the top of the eighth, and um, the um, Brewers, did they bring in Daryl Jackson? No, wait. No, they, they, the Brewers are going to bring in their new pitcher. And the new pitcher... is going to be John Pacella. So, yes. They're bringing in John Pacella... John Pacella is a right-hander, and in 1982, he was 1-2 and two with a 7.30 earned run average in 62 innings. But at this point, I mean, does it really matter? We're here in the top of the eighth, and the score is 12-3 twins. And again, my scoreboard doesn't go up to 12, so it stops at 9. But really, they have 12. And uh, the batter is going to be Don Money. And he hasn't really been all that great. He's got a single and a walk and then two outs. And he's up. He gets a 1-7. He's batting against a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball second base for Money. So he goes out 4-3. to three. Ted Simmons is the batter. He gets a 5-6. He's a switch hitter, so he's batting left. And 5-6 uh, is going to be a uh, fly ball right field. Simmons is out. And Moore is the batter. Charlie. And that is a 4-5. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. to three. Mercifully, they get no runs in the 8th. We go to the bottom of the 8th with Tom Brunanski, the batter. Bruno is the Twins batter. The Twins need a lot of runs. And we need, there's the dice. They need a lot of runs. They're down by 9. Brunanski is the batter. He gets a 5-7, and that is uh, going to be... He's a righty, and that's going to be a double. So Brunanski does rip a double. Brunanski not having too bad of a day himself. He's walked twice and, and has this double. And Gary Ward is up. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. He is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop A. He goes 6-3. to three, One down. Bernanski still at second. Laudner up. Laudner gets a 4-7. He is a righty. That is going to be a single. And it's a split single. So the runners can't go anywhere. And it doesn't matter anyway. Because he wouldn't have. Because they need runners they need base runners and runs. They don't need to try to get thrown out at the plate. Trying to get one crucial run. And Hatcher is up. He gets a 4-4. Four, four. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Yount, though, and he is a 1. That is an 11. We'll take a look at that. Shortstop... 11 and 1. That's going to be on his air rating. And his air rating is a... 26. He is a 26 air rating. So we'll roll the dice. And that is a 7. So shortstop, um, 26, E rating 26 and a 7 is going to be a ground ball double play. And uh, that is going to be the final out of the inning. So the Twins thought maybe they would get something there, but they didn't. And we go to the top of the ninth. The Brewers with a huge lead. And uh, Jimmy Gantner up against Pacella. 
and he gets a 2-5. He is a left-handed batter going up against a right-handed pitcher, and that's going to be a single. So Jim Gantner gets himself a single. He's had a pretty good day. He's got, uh, that's uh, his second hit, and he also walked. And Robin Young, of course, a lot of these brewers have had good days. 1-4 is a home run! So Young hits his second home run of the game. The Harvey Wallbangers are here, people. That's two more runs. And that makes it 14 to, to 14 to 3. That's crazy. And uh, yeah, this is really the true mismatch Monday. I mean, this is what you would have expected from a mismatch. 5-8 from Molitor. He is a righty. Um, and that is going to be a ground ball second base X. The second baseman is Washington, though. He's a 4. That's a 15. So let's see what that is. Uh, 15 and 4 at second base is a ground ball C. So uh, Molitor does ground out 4 to 3 to, to Washington. And Cooper is the batter with only one down. Or no, Howell. Howell replacing Cooper. He gets a 110 against a righty, and that's going to be a round ball second base. So he goes 4 to 3. And uh, Thomas. Let's see what Thomas can do. Thomas has had himself quite a day so far. He gets a 2-8 against a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. But on a Robin Young two-run homer, the Brewers get two more runs, and they have a 14-3 lead. The, the Twins only need 11 runs here. And they're going to have uh, Bobby Mitchell coming up to the plate. And Caldwell, yes, will go the distance. It is a 6-11. 6-11 for a lefty on a lefty. And that is going to be a ballpark single. And he is a left-handed hitter. And that is going to be a single. So um, Bobby Mitchell gets himself a hit. Not that that's going to make the difference here. Unless everybody else can do that. Gary Gaetti is up and he gets a 5-9. He is a righty and that is going to be a ground ball third base B. So now he is at first base. Gaetti is on the fielder's choice. And Fiedo, Lenny Fiedo is the batter. He's the shortstop. He gets a 3-8 and that's a ground ball to second double play. And that is your game. No runs come in for the Twins there. And the final here has been the uh, Brewers of 1982, 14 runs, and the Twins of 1982, just three. Final score, 14-3, Brewers in a route. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.